Malaysia Airport Holdings Berhad's MHB third quarter ended September 30th, 2014. Net profit plunged by 98.6% to 1.61 million ringgit from 112.78 million ringgit a year ago. The airport operator said that the steep decline in profits was mainly brought about by higher costs incurred by the new low-cost carrier terminal KLIA2 and related financing costs. Revenue for third quarter also declined 30.5% to 675.76 million ringgit from 972.7 million ringgit a year ago. This is despite a 9.7% increase in tourist arrivals from January to July 2014 to 16.1 million from 14.5 million in the same period last year, with July alone registering 2.23 million arrivals, according to Tourism Malaysia data. In a filing with Bursa Malaysia yesterday, MAHB attributed the significantly weaker third quarter results to higher operating costs, higher depreciation and amortization. The losses were also attributed to higher share of losses from jointly controlled entities or JCE, such as the Istanbul Sabiha Gokhan International Airport and LGM Airport Operations Trade and Tourism Incorporated. On top of expenses related to KLIA2, MAHB also had suffered higher employee benefit expenses of 168.31 million ringgit compared with 129.96 million a year ago due to annual increments and additional recruitments. For the nine-month period of financial year 2014, the company's net profit stood at 85.64 million ringgit down 74.9% from 340.6 million ringgit a year ago, while revenue fell 11.6% to 2.63 billion ringgit from 2.98 billion ringgit previously. MEHB said its full-year growth prospects are expected to remain softer than actual traffic growth to date, but gave assurance that it is on track to achieve full-year traffic numbers of over 83 million passengers despite the recent setbacks in the aviation industry.